What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and we have another easy shiny hunting exploit location for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And of course, guys, if you like these types of videos, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. So we're back in the desert, and we covered the desert a lot. However, there are two new hunts in this video that we have not covered, which is very exciting stuff. We're gonna be covering Sandial and Relor for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now to begin with this spot, we are gonna go to the middle of the desert, the watchtower, and we're gonna go right over there. Now, Sandile is a dark type Pokemon, which you can actually very easily isolate hunt here with a dark type sandwich. So that is gonna be our very first hunt in this spot. So we're gonna climb up this mountain right here. And this is a little small little mountain, but once you're up here, you're in the right area. You wanna get up onto the flat plateau. And I sort of recommend going over towards this part right here. Now, once we're up here, obviously we're gonna save our game. We always save our game. Reason being, well, if you make a mistake within the 30 minutes, you don't get the shiny, something happens. Well, you save your game, you can just reload your save and be good to go. Now that we have our game saved, we're gonna set up a picnic here. Now, if you get this message, you're just gonna move a little bit further away from the edge and then do it again. And, you know, sometimes you get a little bit too close to the edge. All right, there we go. We got some good, good spacing now. So to begin, we're gonna use a dark type sandwich to exclusively hunt for sand dial here, which is a cluster spawn. So to begin with the sand dial, we are gonna be using a shortcut um, method here. We are gonna be using a uh, smoked filet, one salty and one sweet. Of course, you could try three smoked filets with a cucumber and a pickle and that will work just the same. And there we go, we got sparkling title and counter power level three. And with this, we'll be able to get sand dial exclusively. So because we are here on the rock, we actually wanna get a little bit better position to see the ones over here but there's currently no shinies. So one, let's get our picnic reset spot perfect. I think this is gonna be one of the better spots right here, exactly where I am. A Little bit hanging on the right. You're not gonna really get spawns to your right and that's okay, they're all gonna be in front of you, which is sort of like a nice convenient thing. So the shiny for sand dial is gonna be golden. So instead of this sand color, you get this nice golden gator. It's gonna be nice and bright. They come in as individual spawns and as cluster spawns. So this is why I really like this spot right here. Uh, if you are hunting a Pokemon that comes in as individual spawns, then I would actually recommend getting further away from the right side as you wanna get Pokemon on the right and the left because if a Pokemon's come in exclusively as an individual, the spawn is gonna be a lot slower because you have to wait 15 times. But here, when you have a group spawn, you know, you get like one or two group spawns and then the individuals will fill in and it ends up being a lot faster. So with a shiny charm and a shiny sandwich, this should probably take you about a sandwich or two to get this shiny. Like I said, very obvious shiny, and this is gonna be a great one to add to your collection. You know, this is one that you could try to add to your shiny living family too, if you wanna get three of them. And literally less than four minutes into the hunt, we get our shiny sand dial. Very obvious, it is golden. It has like a little bit of a greenish tint to its chest too, but there we go. Shiny sand dial, easy peasy. You know, I recommend if you get one this early, maybe keep going and trying to get the full shiny family because this is a very beautiful looking shiny. I think this is an underrated Pokemon and definitely one of the harder shiny hunts to do in the desert just because it is such an obscure area to actually get one of these guys. Well, let's go ahead and catch this guy and we'll begin our next shiny hunt. Now for our next hunt, we're gonna go for Relor and Relor is a bug type Pokemon, so we're making a bug type sandwich. Now I will always recommend for bug type hunts to go for the shortcut sandwich, which is one cherry and two salties. The other method where you have to use three sets of cherry tomatoes is pretty terrible. Near impossible sandwich to do. I just don't recommend it for the headache. And there we go. We got sparkling title and counter level three for bug type Pokemon and ready to begin this hunt. So because red lore is a individual spawn and not a cluster spawn, I actually recommend doing the reset uh, sort of like in the middle so you can get them on the right and in front of you. Now, you'll also get Larvesta appearing. However, the ratio of Relor to Larvesta is heavily in the favor of Relor. So I say this is still a very good hunt and pretty much the only good spot to isolate, isolate Shiny Hunt Relor in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as it really only spawns in the desert here. And we only got what, like two or three, that yeah, two Larvestas here. So once again, we are just gonna keep picnic resetting. Just make sure you move a little bit over to the left so you get some to your uh, right side too. So the spawn's coming a little bit faster. And the shiny for Red Lore is gonna be very obvious. It is gonna be a golden 
poop ball. It's going to be rolling around some, a golden ball, which is going to be very cool to see. And if you move a little bit too far uh, forward, you may get less spawns. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, Relor, pretty neat shiny. It's a evolved form. It's also all golden. So this is definitely one of the better trophy shinies in the game. Definitely, I think personally, one of the best shinies in the entire game is Red Lore in general. So good luck on your shiny hunt. If you have the shiny charm and shiny sandwich, hopefully this only takes you about a sandwich or two, but it is possible without having those things too. And we got Red Lore within like seven minutes. Pretty crazy, obvious shiny. The golden ball. Love this shiny. It's such a cool one, honestly. It is definitely one of the better designs. It will try to like run away from you sometimes. So keep that in mind. There we go. Shiny Relor for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Hopefully this video was helpful in getting that. Also, the face is blue. Not like you'll ever actually notice the face on this little guy, but you know, there you go. And time for our next shiny hunt. And now our hunts from this point forward are gonna be all hunts that we've covered on the channel already. But if you're new, we're gonna cover them anyways. So we're gonna be going for Bramblin, which is a ghost type Pokemon. So we're gonna be using a red onion into salties for this hunt there we go we got sparkling title encounter level three for ghost type pokemon and ready to begin this hunt so the reason why we go for a ghost type sandwich and a grass type one is because you also get caspa kid with a ghost type of a grass type sandwich which means you know it's not gonna be truly isolated but these guys spawn in real quick as you can see and the shiny is gonna be very obvious you're gonna just look for the tips on it it's gonna be white tips instead of like the tannish tips it's actually really bright you'll be able to see it you can also notice from the bottom of the plant too where it's going to be green instead of the brown so that's another good way that you can tell but you can see how the spawns come in really fast and depending where you're located they'll come in from the bottom too or just in the top so if you just want them on the top i recommend getting closer but you can decide how you want to do this hunt now let's move on to our next shiny hunt. Now for our next shiny hunt, we're gonna go in for a rufflet and we can do this with a flying type sandwich. I'm gonna use one prosciutto and double salty. There we go, we got sparkling title encounter level three for flying type Pokemon. And with this, we're gonna be getting rufflet. Now rufflet will spawn in very similar to how the, uh, the uh, sand dial spawned in as they are gonna be individual and cluster spawns. So if you don't want them on the right, you could get closer to the right side and then just have them on front of you if you prefer that. Uh, the shiny for Ruffle is very easy to tell. Instead of that blue body, it's going to be an all brown body. The annoying thing about Ruffle is, as you can see, they fly around. So if you want them all in one area so you don't have to look around and see where they're flying, maybe it's probably a better idea to get yourself more towards the right side of the edge here so they just spawn in front of you. So we got right enough, and they're going to spawn right in front of us. Now, it can be a little bit hard to see. And wait, that is a shiny Ruffle right there immediately. Oh, my God. Shiny Ruffle with less than a minute. So if it is flying in the air, we can just uh, use LZ to aim and then RZ to throw. And there we go, shiny rufflet. I wasn't even trying to hunt that really, but there we go. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes the, the content creator luck is real. And let's move on to our next shiny hunt. For our next hunt, we're going for a fire type sandwich. So we're gonna use one piece of basil, one salty and one sweet. And with this, we can shiny hunt for Larvesta. There we go, we got Sparkling Title and Counter Power level three for Fire Type Pokemon and ready to begin this hunt. So Larvesta is gonna be very similar to Red Lore, where it's gonna be like individual spawns coming up. So if you wanna be on the right side and you don't want any on the right spawning up, you can just hang on the right. Personally, for one of these, I like to hang out towards more to the middle so we can get spawns on the right and spawns in front of us too. Now, Shiny Larvesta, very obvious. It's going to be like yellow instead of red. The whole body is going to be much more golden in general. Uh, because it is a bigger Pokemon, I noticed in the game that bigger Pokemon do sometimes take more time to spawn in. So it may take a little bit more time to get all 15 all Larvesta spawn in. Or, you know, you can just feel free to restart whenever you're more comfortable with. I usually do. It's like, oh, I see like 10. I'll just restart then. You know, it really depends on what you want to do. But hopefully we'll get this one with a nice sandwich or two. And let's begin our next shiny hunt. And for our next shiny hunt, we're going for a psychic type sandwich, which means we're going to use one onion and double salty. There we go. Sparkling title encounter level three for psychic type Pokemon and ready to begin this hunt. Now we're going to be able to get shiny Flittle with this method and Flittle will be appearing in front of us and also to our right as well. Now, Flittle is going to be a very obvious shiny because instead of that hot pink, it's going to be like a hot a lime neon green color to it the bottom of it is also brown but you're going to notice the green before you notice the brown on this guy 
beauty of this thing is it's even though it is individual look how quickly it spawns so it's gonna be a really nice hunt relatively easy and you should definitely get one of these in a sandwich or two now our next hunt is gonna be for stone journer which is exclusive to pokemon scarlet and to hunt this we're gonna use one jalapeno and double salty and there we go we got sparkling title and counter power level three for rock type pokemon and ready to begin this hunt so we're gonna be able to get stone journers popping up depending where you're positioning you get some in front of you some to your right as well the shiny for stone journer is going to be really obvious the stone color on it is going to be black instead of gray and the spots are going to be actually reversed with its normal colors too so it's going to be super easy to notice in a crowd of stone journers just look for the one that is different and hopefully you get this one with an a sandwich or two and for our last hunt for today's video we're going to be going for a steel type sandwich which means we're going to be using a hamburger a salty and a sweet there we go we got sparkling title and counter power level three for steel type pokemon and ready to begin this hunt so we're exclusively going to be able to get ore form in this location and once again depending on your spawns you could be getting some to your right and some in front of you depending all on your positioning here now ore form shiny is very obvious it's going to be blue instead of red and it's definitely one of the best shinies in the game i'm definitely a big fan of the blue shinies in general now i will say that ore form in general spawns really slow in so i actually think if you uh, check out my town reset method for this guy i think it's going to be a better hunt for this pokemon overall just because the spawns are a little bit slow here but there you have it guys that is all of the pokemon that you can pretty much isolate shiny hunt in this location for pokemon scarlet and violet of course guys you like this type of video and like my content please leave a like subscribe if you're new i really appreciate it and if you know any other good shiny hunting locations please let me know in the comment section below or message me on discord and i'll get back to you anyways guys peace out and have a good one